With a $1.4 million grant from the National Science Foundation, researchers at the Medical Robotics Laboratory at the University of Houston are developing a platform for minimally invasive robot-assisted image-guided surgery. We expect that this would be able to uh, not only automate but also increase uh, uh, precision of surgeries. So if the operator tends to make some mistakes with the end effector position, this device will correct it and stop the surgeon actually. The model being created now would be used in cardiothoracic surgery. One team of researchers is developing the hardware. Another group of computer scientists and mathematicians are creating the software that will process MRI data, creating 3D imaging that guides the robot. Then after segmenting all the images, we are trying to find a corridor. This here, this is the entrance point, this is the target point, this is the safest pet for the robot. To increase speed, reduce potential side effects, and streamline the whole procedure. The technology must be tested, and that has yet another group of engineers tasked with creating a beating robotic heart. That will move the same way that the data is telling us that it'll move. So that whenever the final robot needs to be tested, instead of putting it in an animal or trying it in a human, of course, we can just use this robotic version of it. So the goal is to have a platform out of this that it will allow us to do any kind of potential surgery we want to do in the heart, on the beating heart, okay, using MRI guidance and robotic assistance. The MRI data used to assist the robot would then be able to verify whether the surgery was a success. The technology that is developed here at the University of Houston under this NSF grant is not just limited to this paradigm or to uh, cardiac surgeries. Rather, it is an excellent, and it will evolve like this, is an excellent platform for developing other surgeries. In the Medical Robotics Laboratory at the University of Houston, I'm Sean Lindsay.